Yo, what up? Thanks for watching. We'll be going over Mass Effect 3, everything. So stick around and hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long-range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all. Why haven't we heard from Admiral Hackett? What do we do? The only thing we can. We fight or we die. We should get to the Normandy. Alright, so going into the game, you could, uh, like all the previous two games, you could upload your character from previous games, um, and shit, you know, so don't worry about it, you can do it. Uh, so you start a new game, or load a game, whatever, I forgot what it was, start your character, you can import your character in, uh, I'm gonna import my character, you know, which is, uh, the one I've been playing with in the past two reviews of Blonde Shepherd. But um, for some reason, this game kind of glitched out and gave me a brunette shepherd. I don't know why. So I was like, okay, so can I alter it? But it, so I did. I altered it. I made her blonde again. Cause that's what I've been playing with, and that's what I'm gonna stick with. They added more different colors, a little bit more colors, not much variation though. A couple more hairstyles and shit. But they didn't really do much. Of course, you could mod this out. It's a little more difficult, older game, but go ahead, man. Do it if you want more weird ass fucking hairstyles. So, but yeah, I'm gonna stick with uh, the original <laughs> hairstyle. I'm just messing here. So, yeah, I'm gonna stick with that one. It's probably the best looking one. Um, like I said, you could change your character up even if you import it, so you can always mess around with that. Never keep the same character if you don't want to. But whatever, I'm gonna stick with mine. Um, here, you could pick your class you're gonna be. Um, and this one, powers are awesome. They did a fucking amazing thing with power, so you don't have to be a soldier anymore. Because in the previous two games, powers kind of sucked. Now they're awesome in this one, trust me. They changed some powers, but they're fucking awesome. So I'm going to stick with my Vanguard. So, alright, it's basically how you start the game. You saw the, a little bit of the intro, so let's get right into the characters. that got to keep this shit under 15 minutes. Alright, so the first uh, traveling companion you get is James Vega. Or Varga, or whatever, James Vega. Yes, Vega. Um, he actually came out in his own film, animated CG film. You guys can check that out. Forget the name of it. But it basically tells his tale before number three. So you want to know more about him? There you go. Um, he's pretty cool. Never really used him in much in the game. He's a very generic Mexican buff dude. So we'll go on with that. <laughs> Uh, returning character from uh, Mass Effect 1 is, ah, uh, damn, I'm just spacing out tonight, um, Ashley Williams. She's back. If you saved her in the first game, she comes out in the third game. You saw that she didn't want to join you in the second game, but damn, she looks way different from the first game. A lot hotter. She's actually ranked up, and she still doesn't trust aliens, so she's still racist. Well, it's cool with that, right? We'll let her, we'll let it slide just because she's hot. <laughs> Anyways, but if you didn't save her in the first game and you save the asshole Caden, then who guess who you get? You get Caden. Um, I didn't save him. I never do. He's an asshole. I don't like him, but people do save him. And he's uh, another romance option you get. 
for either male or female, I believe. I'm not pretty sure because I don't really play him. So I'm just going to gloss over this asshole real quick and go right into uh, another returning character, Liara, to Sony. She kind of comes out of number two because of the DLC shit, but not really. She's playable now. She's still uh, another romance option if you stick with her. She's hot as fuck. Um, doesn't have much in this game. I feel like she was not really there in the game like compared like the first and the second one. But whatever. Uh, she also comes on different outfits and shit. You get to pick them before a mission. And she has her own combat armor which looks fucking amazing just like Ashley's. When you see it you'll be like yeah. Another returning character man. Guy who has been in all three games. Garrus Vicarian. Hell yeah. Still shooting. You know. Awesomely. Badass motherfucker. I, I always take this guy with me. If not him, then whatever. I don't know what the fuck I'm thinking about. But anyways, um, he's come out in all three games. Uh, badass guy. Also a romance option. You're a female shepherd. So there's that. And yeah, man, I'm not going to tell you more. You got to play the game, man. Anyways, then another character returns to Tali V's Normandy or whatever it is now. Uh, like I said, she's come out in all three games. First, second, and third. Although in this one, she comes out later in the game, so I uh, expect that to get her later in the game, not in the, right in the beginning like the other ones. But well, she's back, she's an admiral, and she's trying to help her people fight a war against the Geth. So, you got that going for her. Also romance option, and guess what? You get to see her face in a picture, done really bad by Bioware. So, expect that, right? <laughs> Anyways, let's go down with our list. You get a new character, never seen before. He actually wasn't in the game originally, but introduced through the DLC thing called, called Ashes of Fire or some shit. He's a Prothean who you wake up, and guess what? He wants to kill some Reapers. So yeah, he's going to join your crew. That's really much you get from him. So let's go on. <laughs> then we got, oh yeah, remember Edie from Mass Effect 2? Well, in the third one, she gets a body. And damn, what a body, right? But yeah, she becomes a companion you could take out. She's actually very useful. I take her out because she hacks shit like crazy, like Tali does. She's just badass, so you definitely want to have her in your crew. And then uh, those curves don't, you know, don't hurt, right? Her cause, so let's go in. So those are the characters you could take out. Uh, a roster of seven. I know Mass Effect 2 had like a roster of 11. I'm not sure if that was true. And then number one had around the same six or seven. It's basically generic uh, roster and lineup. Of course, there's no Krogan, which is weird, right? Both games have Krogans, and this one you don't. But I guess the Prothean replaces the Krogan. So we're all good on that end. So, uh, besides these characters, there's a lot of characters that show up. I'm going over them really fast, so bear with it. We have Joker, of course, comes back. So that's badass. Flying in that fucking ship. Dating someone. Yeah. Then we got a new character, Specialist Trainer, a new yeoman, and possible romance. Another character is this guy, Cortez, your shuttle pilot. Uh, Dr. Chalkwell's going to come back. If you don't, like I didn't pick her, you get a new uh, doctor named, who she did come out in the first game, Dr. Michelle. And then we have, of course, you get to see Jack in one of the missions. She looks amazing. Damn, look at that. She's now a teacher, teaching uh, students how to use their biotics, so that's different. Uh, Thane Creels comes out, his uh, disease is spread, so he's just chilling till he dies, basically. Uh, Arya Talok, the hottest woman on the galaxy, is in this game as well, like in the second one. I would date her. <laughs> Anyways, then we got uh, the old yeoman, Kelly Chambers, looking hot as well. She comes out, get in it. Then we got... Um, Oh, the DLC character Kasumi. Yeah, I forgot about her. She comes out in this one as well. So be expecting that shit. So have other characters like this bar maiden. Remember her from the second one? Yeah. She'll come out in this one, so be ready for that. Then we got Rex. He comes out in DLCs and shit, and he's a playable character, kind of. So be expecting Rex in the game, alright? Um, and we have the doctor right here, Dr. Morden. He comes out as well, trying to cure the genophage this time. What? Yes, be ready. Oh, and then we got Captain Curie here. I forgot about this guy. You actually met him in the first one, and if you saved him in the first one, he comes out in the third one a little bit. And then Grunt, of course, has to make an appearance because he's now part of uh, Rex's fucking clan. So he's in this game as well. So be ready for that. 
Um, then the Ragnite Queen you saved on the first one can come out in the third one, but if you killed her, they get another Ragnite Queen. It's up to you which one you pick, man. Um, then we have the hottest fucking woman in the galaxy besides Arya Talok, Samara. And we get to meet her other fucking children, so be ready for that shit. Then we got this motherfucker who came out in the first game in the DLC, when he wants to fucking throw an asteroid at a planet. Well, you get to see him now. And then we got this guy, who no one played in the second one. I don't even want to say his name. Fucking whatever his name was. And then we got Legion, man. He's back. He's badass. Geth. Legion. Hell yeah, man. And, of course, everyone's favorite, Miranda Lawson, is back. Even though she's still doing shady shit, but... Be ready for that crap. And then we have fucking Zaid, another DLC character from the second one. He makes a return as well. Sorry if we're going through that really fast, but I only have 15 minutes. So, before each mission, you could choose a loadout for each character, choose their powers, everything like that you could do before each mission. So don't worry if you fucking it up somehow. You can always do it each before each mission, or go on the ship and do it there. Uh, each character has individual powers. You upgrade them through a tree like this. Um, the first three are really cheap. Then after that, you kind of get expensive. But um, each one has something special. I mostly stuck with them doing shit for themselves, not for the crew. That's what I did. But hey, my work none of the way, right? But yeah, that's how you do it before each mission, all right? Combat system's been improved awesomely, so be ready for that. Um... You get many different kinds of Reapers in this game. The enemies are all different. You can fight Reapers and Cerberus. Yeah, here's basically layout for a Cerberus unit. Here's a more advanced one. You know, that's pretty cool, right? Anyways, um, like I said, combat has been improved. Be ready for that amazingly. They did it well. Um, dialogue is still amazing. Everything is amazing leading up to the end. All right, so... Here's a, here's the way I'm gonna do this. There's two ways to um, finally give this a score. I'm gonna do it the way it came out when it first came out, and then now, all right. So here's my first score in the first one. When I first played this back in 2012, it was amazing up until the end. The end kind of ruined everything. And what I mean by that is, well, you can look it up in any, any reviews about this game in the past. Basically, I remember in my dorms playing this, and then I'm hearing screams. And I'm like, what's going on? And then when I got to the end, I understood why everyone in the dorm was screaming because they're all playing this game. And they got to the end like I did, and it started. Wa I wanted to fucking crash. I wanted to break this game. Basically, at that time, this game was a definitely six out of ten. I'm like, I'm being harsh on it because wow, it's the finale, and it was there six out of ten, man. But now, with if you buy it now and you play it now with all the DLC and everything, where they try to fix it. Even now, it's still not better than the other games, but I'm going to have to give it an 8 out of 10. It's kind of redeemed itself, not really, because, wow, that was pretty much of a shock, man. But yeah, that's all my opinions, man. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit that like, hit that sub. I'll see you all later.